trust in the rain No matter where this journey may lead me I know you are good, you are good always From highest mountains to the deepest oceans You have created everything we see And still you made me unlike it Trust in the way No matter where this journey may lead me I know you are good, you are good always Fearfully and wonderfully created We're all masterpieces To show the world the love of God Fearfully and wonderfully created We're all masterpieces To show the world the love of God Fearfully and wonderfully created, we're all masterpieces To show the world the love of God I will walk in the plans that you have for me I will follow, trust and obey I will walk in the plans that you have for me I will follow, trust and obey Darkness, you tell me I'm yours. 
If you live in certain parts of the country and you order tea, someone will ask you sweet or unsweetened. But if you live in other parts, especially in the South, there's only one kind of tea, and that's sweet tea. Southerners like their tea as sweet as they can get it. They brew tea with pure cane sugar to make it the sweetest part of their meals. No, the sugar and the calories are not good for you, but you can't sip a cold glass of sweet tea and not feel happy about it. God wants us to make other people's lives sweeter. He wants us to help those who need help, to love those who feel unloved, and to spread God's love to everyone. Okay friends, it's time for our game. This game's gonna be real sweet and fun. You can use whatever you have at home. We normally drink water, but today it's okay for a little special treat. We are going to have the kids cover their eyes and see if they can be able to tell the real cane sweet sugar from the fake sweet, which is diet. Okay, cover your eyes. Okay, time to uncover. Take a test. This is fake sugar. And this is real sugar. Hmm. I believe this is real sugar. Yeah, me too. I think A is real sugar. Okay, Mr. Jalar, which one was the real sugar? Letter A. 
Good job, guys. So what we learned today is no matter what, sweet is sweet, but being real sweet is what counts. And so you just know that you can make life sweeter for someone, you know, by visiting and sharing God's love. Today, we're going to learn how to do good to others and make the world a sweeter place. You should be able to identify something kind that you can do for somebody this week. When you think of bees, you might think about their sting. Have you ever been stung by a bee? It's not a fun feeling, is it? Bee stings are very painful, and if you're allergic, it could be dangerous as well. But there's a sweeter side to bees. Bees are the makers of one of the sweetest, tastiest things on earth, honey. Do you know what this is? This is a honeycomb. The bees make this wax, and inside the little circles, they put honey inside. The wax is edible, and I think that's super amazing. God gave bees the unique ability to take the pollen of flowers and transform it into something super sweet and incredibly delicious. Bees work hard to make all that honey, but I think we can all agree that it's worth it. Because of the bees, the world is a sweeter place because we have honey to sweeten our drinks, our trees, treats, our biscuits, and even our Cheerios. God has a lesson for us in the bees. He wants us to know that we can make life sweeter too. I think we can agree that every person on earth wants the sweet life, but God doesn't want us to make life sweet for ourselves. He wants us to have our eyes wide open so that we can make life sweeter for someone else. Jesus once said that the greatest commandments were to love God and love your neighbor. Then he told a parable that has often been retold, showing us what it means to make life sweeter for others. I'm going to read Luke chapter 10 verses 25 through 37. This is called the parable of the Good Samaritan. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, who is Jesus, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So when he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine, and he set him on his own animal, he brought him back to an inn and took care of him. On the next day when he departed, he took out two denarii, which is their money, and he gave them to the innkeeper and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was a neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Making life sweeter for others means that we take the time to do good for others. When we see someone in need, we shouldn't look the other way and make excuses like the first two men who passed the robbery victim. God wants us to stop, to react, and help. God wants us to be people willing to take action. We need to be workers just like the bees, who aren't afraid to step in and lend a hand. God wants to make life sweeter for everyone on earth, and the people he's counting on to make that happen are watching right now. It's our calling as Christians to make the world a sweeter place. We need to give our time, our money, and our hearts to people in need. Only then can we make the world as sweet as Jesus wants it to be. The term Good Samaritan has come to mean any person who does good to others. But to the people in Jesus' story, the idea of that a Samaritan could be good was just plain crazy. Samaritans were not good people in their eyes. They were foreigners, outcasts, 
and no Israelite would dare to help one if they saw one hurt alongside the road. Jesus is saying that making life sweeter means we stop to help anyone and everyone. If it's someone we know, we lend a hand. If it's someone we know of but have never met, we lend a hand. If it's someone we don't get along with, we help out. If it's someone who disagrees with us about God, sports, music, or the way of living, we lend a hand and help them out. When we lend a hand to someone in need, we make their day better. In effect, we make it sweeter. Think about the last time someone did something for you. How did you feel after that person helped you out? I'm sure you smiled. You had a better day. Life was sweeter. The more we help others, the sweeter we can make our world. God could spread his love and his blessings one person at a time if we are willing to let him use us. It takes a willing heart to help and open eyes to see when help is needed. But all of us can be God's hands and feet, spreading the good news to the world around us. Bees make life sweet. We can make it sweeter. So ask God to use you to spread the sweetness in the world, and he will, one heart at a time. I'm going to close in player. prayer. Dear God, thank you for letting us learn about the bees today, that they're hard workers and they make life sweeter. Let us be sweet to those around us and shine our light so they can see that we believe in you and it can encourage them and get them to love you just as much as we do. Thank you so much for our lessons and we love you so much, Lord. Amen. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, kiddos, who's ready to play the review game? Me! Awesome. Here we go. True or false? Jesus said the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. True. Awesome. The good Samaritan made life sweeter for the priest and the Levite. False. Very good. Number three, the good Samaritan bandaged the injured man up and took care of all his needs. True. Very good. We should only worry about making life sweet for ourselves because we can't sweeten it for others. False. And the last one, God can use us to make the world a sweeter place. True. Good job, kids. Way to go. You can make your own bee at home with whatever craft supplies you have. Gavin, what did you make? I made a hot bee. Ava, what about you? Uh, I make it. I make my bee with toilet paper. Ooh, a toilet paper roll. And Jadaisha, let's see your bee. I made my bee with a stinger. A stinger. Nice. This week, look around and try to be sweet to someone. Look for someone in need and lend your hand. Make this world sweet by making things sweeter for someone else. Psalm chapter 19 verse 1 from the NIV reads, The heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of His hands. We all hope that you've had such a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.